Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day four of Follow a Sketch February. This is put on by Sandy Reversky with Scrap Scrapping Reflections. Today's sketch is from Creative Scrapbooker Magazine. Uh, this is a sketch from September of 2022. So you're looking at a horizontal um, uh, band going down the middle with uh, multiple three by four pictures and a title and then um, some journaling space. So I went through and pulled out some pictures of my grandkids. This was from the last snow day that we had. And um, so my daughter's kids all went out on the snowmobiles. And so, hang on, I just need to trim off a little bit of this other photo that didn't trim real right. So I have, um, here is my son-in-law on um, his motor, um, snowmobile and he's pulling the sled. And then in the sled is Preston and Carter. And then we had Dylan was riding his Articat um, on his own. Uh, Preston does ride the Articat at two, Articat two on um, in their yard. They live on a farm. So they've got plenty of open space that they can ride. Um, unfortunately, we had a big dumping of snow followed by sub-zero weather. So they were only able to get out on the day that it was really snowing. And then my daughter-in-law sent me a picture of Everett with his little snowman that they put in, um, built in their backyard. So I thought I would just do a snow day picture with all the grandkids. So here we have the two um, going by the sketch. It's going to be like this with the other one below. This one needs to be trimmed a little bit more. I don't know how you guys are, but if I see a little bit of the other picture, if I don't cut it great, I just need to take that little bit off. So that's going to go there like that. And then Everett's going to go to the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this, um, cut this out. And this is going to be the band that will go down the middle of this paper. This is, and all of it's still Christmas paper. So, and then I thought for how it had the scallop going down each side, I thought I would then go and put this star and snowflake um, border strip down each side. So I'm just going to kind of line this up real quick. And then, so this is how it's going to be. And then, like I said, I will go, and I'm not doing the scale up, but I figure I would go and cut enough of a band that it will give that same appearance. And then instead of the journaling card, I grabbed this tag that is of a polar bear. And then I thought I could pull out some of my embellishments that I have that um, have snowmen on it. And I thought that would be a perfect use for those kind of embellishments. Now this tag is a little bit bigger than three by four. So um, it may cross over. Um, and actually if I switch Jake with Dylan, I kind of liked having it so that you could see the, that they were in the sled, but I think because he's got more snow in the bottom, if this tag overlaps that other picture, it's just gonna cover up snow. It's not gonna cover up any um, any part of the machine. And so let me go ahead and trim this out. And it's not going to be a th true three by four, like I don't think for the width. So you might see a little bit around it, but I like that look. So that's kind of where we're going. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down and then we'll go ahead and trim. And I do want to punch um, the hole out of it. There we go. That'll look cute. So just a really simple, and that's what I love, you know, uh, sketches, you can either use them as a jumping off point and just um, get a basic idea and, and float with it. 
or you can follow it literally. And being that, you know, my life tends to be a little bit more busy, you know, between work and family and everything, I, I kind of don't mind letting the sketch do the work and following it a little bit more closely than, um, you know, occasionally I like having, let my brain take a breast <laughs> and not have to do anything tricky. Like today I was, um, I'm taking the Vicki Booten um, class for the Discover and Create. And so she's given us our fussy cutting homework. Um, it's not for another two weekends, but um, she gave us quite a bit that we have to um, fussy cut before we all get together for the um, Discover and Create um, weekend. And I love, I don't know, some people don't like fussy cutting to me. I was enjoying myself because I just sat here. Um, I talked to my sister for a while. I was um, on um, Google Messenger video chatting with my mom for a while. It was just a lovely afternoon without having to do anything tricky. Um, and I was playing in my room, but I didn't have to think because it was just fussy cutting. So to me, sometimes these sketches kind of are the same thing. You don't really have to think a whole lot because the sketch takes away that, you know, that need to have your creative thinking cap on and lets you kind of just go with, go with the flow. And then the hardest part is just picking the papers and the embellishments and the pictures. But it take it takes one of the steps away. So there we've got that. Um, I didn't really do an even on both sides. So I'm going to take... Actually, I don't have to take a little off. I can just cover it up with the other. Oh, and I do need to cut off my branding strip. So again, this is Echo Park paper from one of the Christmas collections. But I like the snow. And I liked it because the sled is uh, um, red. <clears throat> so again, it's pulling in, you know, the snow kind of look. It's pulling in the red from um, the sled. And even if I pull in a little green, um, that will work because don't, you know, the Arctic cat's got some green in it. So when I go to pull out my little snowman and make my little scene with my snowman, I don't have to worry about um, if I have a weird color coming through. All right, so I am going to just use my mat to help me out to find the center. And... See, that looks about the center. Lining it up. There we go. And then, like I said, I just have these two branding strips. Actually, they're not even branding strips. They were border strips that was on one of the pieces of paper that this blue came out of and the, snow, the polar bear came out of. So I'm going to move this one over. And this one is the one that's a little bit smaller edge. So for this one, um, this one I'm going to overlap it just a tad so it has the same border on both sides. Yeah, let's see. And it's just a smidge. That's a technical term. Um... For all of you, that's a that's a U.S. measurement. I believe that's um, not metrics, a smidge. Let me know, you know, if you do the metric system, if you guys have a smidge. I know there's centimeters, millimeters, and stuff, but do you have a smidge? Okay, so I digress. Now, for our title, I have this Christmas puffy stickers and I've got one more in here on my desk that I didn't put away and let me see if I can find the other half 
And then this one has, I believe, Oh Snow. And I thought that'd be cute. But there might be one on the other one. So let me see if I can find the other half of that puffy. I still have a pile of Christmas stuff next to me that I was going to put away this weekend, and I didn't. But in the next several days, it will need to get put away. Because I have a mess. There it is. Okay. So, this has the title going down this side. And so let's see what we can find. This is just all Christmas. And this one has Frosty. Now, I do like the white snowflakes, and I think the white snowflakes would be fun. So I think I'm going to leave this out for those that I can fit in here. So we have Oh Snow. And then there's a Let It Be Winter. Maybe we can use both Oh Snow, Let It Be Winter and have a um, snowflake between. So let us go with Go ahead and put the O oh Snow on. I'm thinking like right here. And then we'll use one of these white snowflakes between it. It may blend in. Oh, actually, there's a white with a blue. Use that one instead, then it won't um, blend in too much. And then and I know for my older three grandkids, they love when it snows. Um, like I said, unfortunately, they they got a ton of snow. They had one really good fun day in the snow, and then it got bitter cold. And so they were stuck inside, and then all of a sudden, when the bitter cold went away, we went back into, like, 40-degree weather where it all started melting. So there wasn't enough then to, to ride on. So um, as much as we had, like, record-breaking snowfalls for the month um, or high levels, um, they didn't get much use out of it. Because they were still trapped in the house. So. But they had fun. Um, it was actually kind of cute. My niece. Um, my niece-in-law. I should say. She went. And she's got um, a three-year-old. And a newborn that's the same age as Everett. And she went and brought in. A big bucket of snow. Inside her kitchen laid out a, a big towel and then had like a casserole dish and her older son played for the longest time in the snow in the house. So yeah, I saw a couple of those fun things. So oh snow and then let it be winter. So I like that and then we just need something right here and then we can put a couple snow flakes around it. So let me go in here and find which of my containers has my snowmen. And I don't think it's this one. So bear with me. Let's 
see what we've got for snowmen in here. Here is a few snowmen there. Let's see what else we've got. Everything else is more Christmassy. I've got these snowmen too, if I want different heights. And then I do have some of the sticky back brads. Like this is a red with snowflakes in it. So I might be able to use one of those. And this has got one in it. Up here is a puffy Santa or snowman, but I've only got one, so I think I'll wait. And that one's a chipboard, but I've got those other puffies that I think I'll use for the snowflakes. I like this guy, but it's Christmas related, and this was after Christmas, so I really don't want to pull the Christmas in. All right, the other option I have that I didn't put away yet is, at least I don't think I put it away. Nope, I didn't. I do have a winter and snow um, folder. And there is some of the old me and my big idea stuff. And this would be a great page to do something like that. So I've got these here that I could do. That'd be cute. And there's a little tag that I could use. But I also have like these. And I have like this whole thing is like a stack of them. They're all like the same thing. Um, die cuts. Or I have the stickers. And I could go and do one of these. I kinda like um, these guys. Like maybe this guy here, and then use like one of these little um, like clipboards. Let's see how this will look. And I wonder if I could fit, like, make them the four of them. I don't think there's enough room for all four. But it would have been cute if I could get all four of them on there. Like, we could get this guy on. Do you want to pull in a green or a red? that and then do we have anything that's I could use the word joy how we can do one of these.
Okay, I kind of like that. So I have the little tag up there with the word joy coming off of it. These I think are the wrong color. And then, like I said, I have then um, the puffy white ones that I think, let's see, where is it at? I do have you can put this on here that says frosty because it was like frosty cold. And then we could put that snowflake there. And maybe that one there. All right, I think we're gonna call this one done. So I got, oh, and then I'll put some twine on here. I just have this spool of twine. If I don't put them on when I'm on camera, it's um, usually before I put it in the album, I usually will go and get this out and cut off a piece of it. And it just lives up in the basket up here on my desk. And then we can add that in so we don't have a naked tag hole. This one over this one over here is gonna stay naked because I think it's just too little for me to try and um, string something through it. So I'm not going to make myself insane trying to feed that through with twine, but this is good. All right, there we go. All right, we're gonna call that one done. So make sure you check out everyone who is playing along this month with um, the um, Follow a Sketch February. Again, check out the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. There is a folder with all of the sketches for this month. And then if you go into the sketch itself, in the comments of the sketch, you can see where everybody posted their layouts. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you guys again on my channel for another process video. In the meantime, take care and keep on scrapping. Bye-bye.